Welcome to Stress Stimulus Video Training. In this video, I will show you how to record and configure a script for performance testing Microsoft Dynamics 365 for finance and operation. Its performance testing is necessary to ensure adequate user experience under various load conditions. The challenge of load testing D365FO is that in this application, a large number of page objects have dynamic IDs that must be correlated. Stress Stimulus handles all script correlations automatically, regardless of the complexity of the test scenario and the amount of customization in your instance. I will record a scenario that creates a purchase order with one line items here. For more realistic testing, I will then parameterize it to include test data in the load testing process. Finally I will add a loop to create POs with a variable number of items. In Stress Stimulus, I click on the recorder to start the recording wizard. Enter a test case name, create purchase order, select a web browser, Microsoft Edge, and click Next. Enter the URL, and the name of the first transaction, landing page. Click here to open the browser and start recording. In the Stress Stimulus Recorder, add transaction, login, and enter the credentials. Once the application loads, add transaction all POs and navigate to the purchase order grid. Add transaction new PO and click new. Paste the customer number and click OK. To add a line, create a new transaction, add line item. Click add line and paste the item number D0001. Add transaction save and click the save button. Log out and sign out. Click the stop button to end the recording. The Stress Stimulus proprietary autocorrelation engine is scanning the script and creating correlation rules automatically. As you can see in the progress bar, Stress Stimulus creates a large number of autocorrelation parameters. Some of these parameters are immediately necessary for the script to work correctly, and others are essential to support the expiration of some tokens. If you don't have them, the script will initially work, but it will fail after the tokens expire, which may be in 24 or 48 hours. Now let's verify the script by playing it back to ensure it is properly correlated. The verification shows no errors. Now let's check if the script created a new purchase order. I go back to the purchase order page and refresh it. And there are two identical POs were created one during recording and another one during script playback. Now let's customize the script to create POs with a random number of different items. I will parameterize the item with a dataset containing item information and create a loop for adding items with a repeat count from a data generator. I navigate to the dataset section. Click the import button. I will use a CSV file. Enter the path of the item file. Click next with all defaults until the last step to create the dataset, items. Change its default binding mode to VU iteration bound, to use a different item on every loop iteration. Then click the finish button. Next, let's search the requests for the recorded item number, D0001. Stress stimulus highlights the requests with this item. Right click the first highlighted request and select create a parameter. In the parameter dialog, Right click on the highlighted value and replace it with the dataset column, item number. In the appeared message box select OK to create more parameters like this one in other requests. Now, let's create a random number of line repeats. Navigate to the data generator section. And create a new one. Select integer and set the min and max to 2 and 4. Name it, item count. Now let's create a loop. In the text case tree, right-click on the add line item transaction. Select create container and click loop. Set the number of repeats property to the new data generator, item count. Verify again to ensure that the parameters are created correctly. The verification reported no errors. Let's also check in the browser that one more PO was created. Refreshing? A new PO was created. Click to confirm it has a random number of lines exceeding 1. It does. 
and the item numbers are from the dataset. Now this script is ready to be used in a load test. For help with test configuration, users can schedule scripting sessions from the Stress Stimulus Help menu, Support Options. Let's review the main takeaways. We went over the following Stress Stimulus elements. Correlation required for D365FO scripts to work is automatic. Parameterization allows using test data. Loops are used to customize user flow. Scripting sessions provided as a part of support are scheduled from the Stress Stimulus application. Thank you for watching.